Good morning and welcome to another video. As you can see behind me, and as the title suggests, I'm at Lydia again. I'm on Manor Farm on Whitney Point today. Swim 8, for those of you who know it. I've come out to do some more tench fishing. We might get the carp rods out. As you can see, it's not exactly tenchy weather, so we might break out the carp rods at some point. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Not been on here yet this season, not been on here for a year. It can be very moody. We may easily blank. We may easily have a cracking session. You never know. I've been chatting to a few anglers on the way around because I've had to stop a couple of times because it's just, it's horrendous getting a barrow around here. It's up to the ax axle on my barrow in mud. Kept getting stuck. It's an absolute nightmare. But we've managed it. We got round. <laughs> but as I say, I've had to chat to a couple of anglers. I chatted to the guy who was in here for a couple of days as well. He was telling me, that he's had a couple of 40 pounders in the last couple of days. Carp, that is of course. Um, from 20 odd wraps out towards the shop. We may get a rod out there tonight, perhaps. He said, you know, he told me, he told me where he put it. And he said, you know, it might be worth getting a rod out on that. So perhaps we will tonight. Now, he also said, it's very, very weedy. He said the only spot he found was seven wraps out to the right. <laughs> Which is exactly where I had a big hit of fish last year. It's a clear spot. So. That's what we're going to concentrate on, I think, with the tench rods. Just to give you a picture of the lake, very basically, that area is deep and this area is shallow. It's sort of that shape, <laughs> effectively the bottom. Now my thinking was, and as we found on Hunt's Corner, the fish would be in the shallow water. Because the sun's out, the water's still relatively cold, but the sun's out and it's going to warm up the shallow water quick, more quickly than the deeper water. However, um, the chap, who was in here was telling me that some guys over on the road bank over there on the deep bit have been having some tench out. They've been tench fishing, helicopter rigs, maggots, and they've had some tench out. So if the tench are in the deep water, we're screwed. If they move into the shallow water, we might do all right. As you can see, it's lovely and warm. We've got a facer. All the warm water's gonna get pushed up this end of the lake. I'm not checked the wind, but hopefully it stays like this. We've got more overcast day due tomorrow a little bit of drizzle so that that's very much more tench weather so i think really i'm going to get things set ready for the morning and we'll have a, a proper crack at the tench fishing in the morning but if, obviously i'm going to fish today hopefully hopefully we'll we'll get something something's just plopped out over there i don't think it's a bird anyway i'm waffling need to crack on don't we let's get crack on we got we got till tomorrow when the gate's shut, uh, sort of half seven, I think the gate's shut. So that's PM. So we've got all day tomorrow if you fancy it, but it is due to rain tomorrow, sort of tea time or dinner time. <laughs> that's my, my daughter corrects me. Tea time where I came from. Um, so yeah, late afternoon, early evening, it's going to rain. So I think we'll probably get out of here before that, unless we're having a, a massive hit of fish. Right, that really is enough waffle. Let's crack on, shall we? Very tight in here still, casting. Yep, that's the spot. As I remember, and as that chap was saying, seven wraps out. Right, we're fishing. Now I'll run you through a setup shortly and the, the plan of attack. Well, so we'll get a couple of rods out first. We'll get, as I say, we'll get a couple of rods out, get fishing, and then we'll run through the gear. Suffice to say, fishing maggots for the tench. Got some worms as well, got some tiny little boilers if you fancy that. But really, maggot approach. Now, I've not even spotted any bait out. That guy I was talking to was fishing at that spot, seven wrapped out. So, He's put some bait on it. I would also really like there not to be any bait on there. I wanted to fish that spot, just maggots. Maggots only. So what I'm gonna do is keep casting, keep casting, keep casting. I'm not gonna spot any bait out at all. I've got some, a mix of tiny little pellets. We might try and find a spot out here somewhere perhaps at some point as an alternative spot in slightly deeper water. But 
I've always found it's generally very weedy. I consult my phone. I made note on my phone of a spot over here somewhere. About nine rats out, I think. So we'll see if that's still there. If not, I'm happy to fish this seven wrap spot. Let's see if we can get that going. Right. As I say, we're fishing. We'll get one more rod out and then I'll run you through exactly what I'm doing. I do like this swim. I've fished it a few times now. <laughs> Feels like home a little bit. It's very tight. There's not much space in here. But it's uh, not really a problem. Just to run you through the gear. I'll stick all the hardware down in the description below. You can go and have a look exactly what I'm using. But on the business end, I've got Dark Matter leader on there. This is a heli setup. It's like a thick fluorocarbon, which is sort of impregnated with tungsten just to keep everything down and there's lots of zebra mussels in here they're quite sharp so quite abrasion resistant as well leader on there now next off i've got on the bottom the guru 70 gram grub feeder just there it's clipped into the bottom of the heli system now depending on what i do i'll do different things with the hook links this one it's got a standard hook link on there it's about nine or ten inches long from watching the Guru underwater, that seems to be about the optimum length hook link for hooking fish up. They say we're heli helicopter style, so that can just spin around on the main line. Now, as we found in the last video, and if you're not seeing that, I'll link you in up there, go and have a look at it. We're on Hunt's Corner. We found that popping at the maggots that far was, was great. We we're effectively fishing low lying zigs. Bit of foam and a couple of maggots on the hook. Popped up about eight or 10 inches. It's taking all the fish. I think perhaps they weren't getting their heads down, weren't feeding hard, and they were just cruising about, seeing some maggots in their eye line, just grabbing them. So I'm gonna try that definitely on one rig. On the other one, I'm gonna pop the maggots up just a couple of inches. And on this one, I'm gonna just have them on the deck. Now I've had both work on this lake in different sessions. Sometimes swap up maggots will work, sometimes they'll work on the deck not usually at the same time if you're with me You'd either pop-ups work or bottom baits work and not both in the same session so we'll suss out exactly what's happening today what mood the fish are in whether they're feeding hard whether they're not feeding hard and if the bottom rod does the bites obviously we'll swap them all over to that and if the pop-ups do the bites vice versa Right, I think we found the edge of the weed dirt. <laughs> Went down with a bit of a squelch. Went a little bit to the right. Yeah, we're in the weed there. Right, we've got some weed to that side. So I think we're gonna have to shuffle the rods across. Hopefully there's room for three rods on that spot. If not, we'll definitely have to find a new, a new spot. So, been at it a couple of hours now. Had a few casts in the area. Just freshening up the baits. I've just tried, tried a, a few new hook links up. And we've changed over to them. As I think I mentioned, I've got one maggot rig popped up that far, one popped up that far, and one on the bottom. We'll give it perhaps till six, seven o'clock, something like that. See if we get any indications. And I'm, I might be tempted to put a little bit of um, this pellet mix in I've got. It's just sort of the odd four mil pellet, mostly two and three mil pellets. Mixture of betaine pellets, there's some krill, some bloodworm pellets, all sorts of everything. A bit of ground bait in there as well. And some krill active mix. It's just been dampened down a bit, that's why it's a few lumps in there. But I'm I'm thinking of my it smells nice, it smells very uh, fish mealy, very very like the krill, sticky baits of krill. I might put a bit of that in just depends just want to get a feel for it really if absolutely nothing's happening then I guess we've got nothing to lose but I would like to have that spot without any bait on it really just as a maggot spot almost like almost want the fish to see it as a natural spot although as I say this guy has put some bait over it as well so that's another reason why I'm loath to put any more in at the moment but I have had a cracking hit of fish 
last season, or last close season off that spot. I had a, a tension in the eights, I think from memory, one in the sevens. And I had a mid 20, sort of 25, 26 pound mirror and a, a 32 pound common just off that spot just there. So it does produce at the right time. But I've blanked on it as well, so it's one of those. As you can see, the sun's gone in. It's looking a bit more fishy. We'll just give, you know, give things a chance to develop a little bit and just see what happens. Yeah, it's in the middle of the day at the moment, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, blazing sunshine. It's not a great time to be fishing. And now we're getting into the afternoon. Things may pick up a bit. So we'll see. We'll see. We've got all day tomorrow as well. Like I said, the forecast looking better tomorrow. House is all up, got it all sorted, as you can see around there. So, uh, as and when we get some rain, which we may do, apparently, we can uh, go for a hide in there. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, we can bag a few fish. Right, change of plan for this cast, or well, certainly for, for now anyway. Decided, hedge my bets a bit. But a tiny little eight mil Northern Special pop-up on one of the rods. I've gone on worm kebab on one of the rods if I can even say it kebab on one of the rods and the other one I've got on maggots on the bottom decided to to make things a bit less obvious in your face sort of popped up baits have not worked this afternoon so I'm figuring that perhaps something a bit more subtle, something on the bottom. And given the choice of the baits I've got. I've got some sweet corn in the car which we could use as well. Got some fake sweet corn too. But I think for now we'll, we'll just go with those three. Worm, maggot and mini boilie just on the bottom. We'll see how that goes. No, I've just had a look on my phone. Because I had another spot in here last year, this time last year, slightly to the left, and I uh, just wanted to see if it was clear. I'm not going to give too much lead in about, but from first impressions, it's not. <laughs> it's gone down with a donk. No, it's pretty weedy from the feel of it. Right, I think that's just about it. Perhaps one more. We've put a bit more like a dozen than half dozen. <laughs> I just wanted to get some bait in. Using it as a maggot only spot clearly has not worked. So we'll get some smell in as well. You like the brambles? That would do us. We can certainly put more in if we need to. But you can't take it out, as I say. Now, I had a little cast out 21 wraps towards the shop as well. And there is certainly a clear spot out there. So I'm going to clip a couple of the carp rods up, 21 wraps towards the shop. And I'm going to clip one up at seven wraps just in here. We'll fish those on solid bags tonight through the hours of darkness. Well, there's certainly some fish moving along here. Look 
does seem a little bit like tents rolling as well. They're out to my left. Unfortunately. Might be getting their heads down a little bit perhaps. The chap next to me was tench fishing. They may have got on his bait. Should be typical. <laughs> well, we could always drop in there, but uh, there's probably someone on in the morning. Good sign that they're up this end though. I say, I think it's tench, I'm not 100%. But yeah, then something did move over here as well, so hopefully they're, 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 they're along here. Fingers crossed. I keep thinking I'm going to do the carp rods while I can still see what I'm doing. But I've got lots of green light stream left. <laughs> not a major problem. Yes, it's just rolled again there, but further out. It's not, it's not in one particular place. It's, uh, it's all over the place, really. It's the trouble with these lakes. Well, linear in general, really, but certainly the lakes you have to book on, manor, hunts. You, it takes the watercraft out of it. You can't sort of turn up and see where the fish are and move on to them. Because there's because you've obviously you, you booked onto a swim and usually most of the others are taken and I mean it's a similar story really on the other lakes Oxleys and B1, B2, Smith's Hardwick purely because there's so many anglers there but at least you do have a little bit of a chance to have a move but obviously if they're full that's that yeah see something else has just moved over there much further left well, I've had it on here before I've been in the next swim in swim seven and had fish showing all over me and, and not a touch. I think it's time to change these rods over. Well, good morning. As you can see, a lovely misty morning. It's just gone five o'clock. Unfortunately, I've been laying my pit for the last sort of 20 minutes looking out to see if anything's moving I haven't seen or heard nothing I've heard nothing in the night at all oh excuse me I'm a bit bunged up yeah not good we've not had any indications at all nothing in the night absolutely nothing which I'm a little bit surprised about I think what I'm going to do is get these rods changed over Switch them back over to the tench rods and um, see if we can nick any tench on this lovely tenchy misty morning. But as I say, I've seen absolutely nothing, so that doesn't bode well. Perhaps we've got the reds down feeding. Right, we're all set. It looks like we're going to have a fairly clear day. Once this mist has burnt off, which is not ideal. I'm tempted to spot some pellets out, but if there is any fish there, I don't want to disturb them. It's bite time really, there's a guy spotting over there, I think it's probably a bad move for me. I'm going to leave it an hour, perhaps an hour and a half, and just see, keep it on the water. See if we get any indications, see if we see anything. See so much just dimpled out there now again to the left of the spot, but about the same distance. A couple of rod lengths to the left. Does seem to be fish in the area. I think we'll, we'll play the softly, softly approach. It's quite quiet up here as well because um, there's no one else on this bank. So it's a quarter to eight, nothing been happening. There's tents rolling sort of in the area, but a little bit all over the place. We just didn't want to roll over there and over there. Then we want to roll over. Oh, wait, what was I saying? We're in. Blimey. <laughs> well, and it feels like a tench. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> I 
Oh, hello. <laughs> Weeded me up, I think. So much weed out here. There we go. Free. Harry for a minute. As I was saying, there's been fish moving, but just all over the place. Pounding. Twenty two hours of that sniff, and then you're in. Let's try and get his head up. So much weed around. And he's a tench, just seen it. <laughs> it's no monster at all. But he's putting up a good scrap. <laughs> Burying into the weed. Come on. It's a reasonable fish though. I'll settle for that. Certainly. Whee. Oh, what a fight. Whee, we got one. It's a nice fish, actually. And that was on the low popped up maggots. Right, I was just about to have a recast anyway, so I think we'll we'll get these rods in while we deal with this fish. So it would appear perhaps popped up maggots are the way to go. I say we're popped up about three inches. Right, we'll have a look at them. We're no monster. It's cracking scrap. Absolutely wonderful. How's about that? <laughs> wonderful. Hopefully. It's the start of a few bites, clearly on the bait. Well, this one was anyway, fantastic. Cracking, he's a really very solid fish. No monster at all, as I say, but over the moon with that, that's wonderful. Right, we'll get the rods back in. Now switch back over, or switched over to the Drennan feeder bombs, purely because they're a bit more streamlined in shape. I'm just thinking that fish weeded me up twice, so I need all the help I can get. Catch another one, or well, hopefully we will. And I'm thinking these feeder bombs will be less likely to get caught in the weed. I've just got him down here, resting up for now. Do you find I can feel these feeder bombs down better? You can feel what they land on much better than the, uh, the Guru ones. I have to say, the only problem with the feeder bombs is that they only run up to 45 grams, it's an ounce and, ounce and a half. I like to be using two ounces really. But they do cast lovely. 
Right, let's cut the rods out. We'll get this fella back. He just had five minutes sat down there, chilling, getting his breath back. Cracking, off the mark. Go on, chat, back you go. <laughs> but I know this lake reasonably well. And I know that means absolutely nothing. <laughs> we could have a few fish now. Or it may be the only bite. Well, that is it. I'm going to call it a day there. It's, uh, it's around about two-ish. There's nothing happening at all. There's a few carp cruising about in the middle. Aside from that, it's very, very quiet. We've not had a prolific session by any means, but uh, we caught and I've done many blank sessions on this, on this lake. So that's a result in itself. It wasn't a monster, but it was a lovely fish. Now I am back on linear in a few weeks time. I'm going to be on Hunt's Corner again. Again, doing some tench fishing. So hopefully we can have a few out that day. That's another 36 hour session. Before then, obviously I'll be back down the canals. I've got a few other spots, a few other lakes I fancy a go out, or certainly one anyway, that uh, I've not, not fished for several years. So I'm definitely gonna have a go at that as well. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here while the getting's good because uh, the sky is getting darker and darker. It's due to chuck it down with rain fairly shortly for most of the afternoon. So yeah, I think uh, we'll get out of here quite quickly. So all there's left to do, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support and I'll see you again very soon.